The Bacon Empire, 9th to 13th century. Myanmar's history as a unified region begins with the Bacon Empire, founded by King Anurata in 1044. Under his rule, Bacon consolidated its territory, bringing much of modern-day Myanmar under its control. This era is marked by a cultural and economic flourishing, with the construction of over 10,000 Buddhist temples, pagodas, and monasteries in the Bacon Plains alone, laying the foundation for the Burmese culture, language, and ethnicity. The Tongu and Kambang dynasties, 16th to 19th century. In the 16th century, the Tonga dynasty emerged, reunifying the region and laying the groundwork for the modern Burmese state. The Kambang dynasty, 1752 to 1885, further expanded Burmese territory but faced challenges from neighboring powers, leading to several wars. Colonial Era, 19th to 20th Century The Anglo-Burmese Wars in the 19th century resulted in the gradual annexation of Burma by the British, culminating in full colonial control after the Third Anglo-Burmese War in 1885. British rule brought significant economic, social, and administrative changes, but also a rise in ethnic and cultural divisions. For most of the 20th century, Myanmar's economy was heavily reliant on agriculture. It was once the world's largest exporter of rice. The country is rich in natural resources like jade, gems, oil, and natural gas. The jade and gem trade, particularly in rubies and sapphires, has been significant. In recent decades, there's been a shift towards industrialization and services. Although agriculture remains a major sector, Myanmar is home to over 100 ethnic groups, each with its own unique culture, language, and traditions. This diversity is reflected in the country's festivals, cuisine, and daily life. Buddhism plays a central role in the social fabric of Myanmar. The country is known for its pagodas and monks, and traditional festivals, like Thingian Water Festival, and Thadden Jut Festival of Lights. Myanmar is famous for its traditional crafts, including lacquerware, silk weaving, and puppetry. It's common to see people wearing thonica, a yellowish-white cosmetic paste made from ground bark. It's used for beauty and sun protection, a traditional sport akin to hacky sack, where players gracefully kick a rattan ball back and forth. Tea shops are a central part of life in Myanmar. They're not just about tea. They're social hubs where people gather to chat, snack, and watch the world go by. A traditional garment worn by both men and women. It's a cloth wrapped around the waist, similar to a sarong, and is a symbol of Myanmar's cultural identity.